We're a very new residents association, only inaugurated last May, first AGM next week. Um, and without Tidy Towns, we wouldn't really have got so far in this first year as we have done. Without Tidy Towns and Kerry's involvement, we wouldn't have um, been able to make the community wildlife garden that we have. Uh, and we've also been doing litter picks on the beach with um, the equipment bought by the grants from Tidy Towns. We had a second grant which helped us to do the butterfly border, the biodiversity area, um, and the, the bird and bee boxes that we've got in our garden. Uh, we've also had loads of tools um, that we've bought with the grant which will help us in the future with all the other projects that we've got in mind. And that's all thanks to Tidy Towns. Our community group has recently acquired a, town, um, a Tidy Towns grant um, for over £2,000 to develop new skills in gardening projects and learning about the environment. Um, this grant has helped us um, build a new polytunnel um, so we're growing produce from a very early stage and it's also helped us um, with mach um, purchase machinery and PPE, um, giving the young people an opportunity to do some things that they haven't done before. Chirk has been involved with Tidy Towns for some considerable time. Over the last three years we've got involved in producing a sensory garden, a wildlife garden, and other amenities including using probation. What we find is that without Tidy Towns the small projects that we want to achieve wouldn't be done. But Tidy Towns actually benefits us because the grants are so small we get a lot of community involvement. They don't feel that they have to do the work to massive standards but because they're not pressurised the work does get done to tremendous standards. The youth get involved the chapel, the church, and all the projects that we do benefit the town. Once the town do the projects, there's no vandalism. What we achieved three years ago is still as good as the day we achieved it. Tidy Towns has helped us a great deal. We do lots and lots of work with them. Many opportunities for intergenerational work and community engagement. We've done many litter picks where lots of youths have got involved and lots of elderly people as well. We've also done events such as a dog watch day, highlighting the problem of dog fouling. And also we've, we've done lots of work in the community garden along with the residents association which we helped to form. This is really beneficial for us because not only does it allow us to engage with our community and get involved in community projects, it also helps helps build skills for the younger generation and gives them a sense of responsibility and a sense of ownership for their environment, which in turn helps to reduce instances of crime, graffiti, antisocial behaviour and builds community spirit. Tidy Towns has helped North West Fire and Rescue Service across its whole service area to support a number of initiatives we've been running because it reduces the number of, of the amount of rubbish and litter that's left on the streets for opportunist fire setting. And it's also helped us engage with community groups to identify vulnerable people and offer other services like the Home Fire Safety Check which makes people feel safe in their own homes. One of North West Fire and Rescue Service's objectives is to make our environments and communities a safer place to work, live and visit and I think that's the target of everybody working together. Uh, Town of Royal Beach King Group is a community not-for-profit organisation set up as a branch of the Anglesey Sea Zoo. We're based in Brinshenkin which is an un underprivileged area of Anglesey. We aim to do community work such as beach cleans and beach safaris with particularly local children but a lot of other local organisations and groups as well. And Tidy Towns project with the help of Gareth Owen has enabled us to buy all our own equipment for the beach cleans, nets for the beach safaris, which means that we can actually organise these on our own without having to organise them in advance with anyone else turning up. It's enabled us to do about 8 or 10 cleanups a year and up to 30 or 40 beach safaris a year on the stretch of Town of Oil Beach. And the beach itself is about 3 or 4 kilometres long. So it's quite an achievement that we can now look at the beach knowing it's nice and tidy and literally as soon as new litter is washed up we manage to clear it away pretty regularly all through the, the tourist season anyway. I've been involved with Tidy Towns now for about uh, two years. The, the first initiatives we did were under the Keep Wales Tidy initiatives whereby a number of groups were uh, set up by the local community that were doing good work locally and uh, doing litter picks and uh, tidying up grot spots etc. And for us it was an opportunity to uh, help the 
uh, local keep wheel size people do something do something a bit extra. So what we were doing and what I was doing in my restaurants is actually to uh, to feed them once they'd done these initiatives. Historically, McDonald's had done a number of uh, initiatives on sort of bin it and a number of things themselves. So this really went hand in hand with what we were already doing. I must say that Tidy Towns has helped all of the community groups now that are involved in such of these uh, uh, initiatives do it themselves. In so much as you know the infrastructure has been put in place by Tidy Towns, and then afterwards the community groups have taken it on board. And in each of the locations I operate, there are now community groups which are almost self-sufficient and doing these things sort of outside of their uh, normal activities. So it's great to see that uh, the Tidy Towns initiative has been rolled out and uh, is continuing to grow successfully. Our involvement with Tidy Towns uh, has been of great benefit working with community groups and bringing the different age groups together with intergener intergenerational work. We, um, we find that the, the youngsters are very keen to tidy up their areas and, uh, and they bring their parents along and uh, the involvement with, with Tidy Towns has been absolutely fantastic because they have expertise to deliver into these communities that we work in that we, but that we don't have. We live in Chemice on Anglesey which we think is the, one of the loveliest villages on Anglesey and basically that's all down to a girl called Pauline Roberts who was the original guerrilla gardener. She took over any vacant plots in the village and turned them into beautiful borders and flower beds. And we became aware of Keep Wells Tidy a couple of years ago when we were working in the borders and somebody told us about them and they've helped us enormously getting tools and funding for various other projects. We've just started this year, we've just organised an allotment site and we've encouraged the local people to take the allotments including one little boy of about ten who's absolutely thrilled to bits. Do you want to do the bunny village goes goes and her not val her crystals can only ever carrot her once with a cadoga medaclis. I am reading on crystals the bunny vero vidyata, I guess it is a san all single a gibbony and minta discoplion a san. You want to live in a guise and a good minute. Then you have it with the sicker high grand, check out of fair and a blind in the Nukale, either no the other one or the guise. My uncle I discoplion or the adnapod, the uncle head naturally composed course I have it, then her biscuiliano. Uh, Keep Wales Tidy has provided us with cash, provided us with advice, provided us with encouragement and the allotments have provided, brought the community together because they became interested in it and the people who have been allocated are all very keen. The um, litter picking has also encouraged people not to drop litter and has enabled us to win Wales in Bloom and Britain in Broome competitions for the village.